Good afternoon, boys and girls. I hope everyone is doing wonderfully today. So what I have for you is this watercolor bug. So this bug or this paper in the shape of a bug is special watercolor paper. And then that means obviously right here, I have my watercolors and brushes for that watercolor. And what do you need for watercolors? Water. So this one, you can do any single which way you want. Um, you don't even have to work within the guidelines of like the bug. Like if you wanted to make this something else, you make this your own, you make it whatever you want. Like here, I see like this looks like a heart shape. I could turn this into a heart if I wanted to, and then maybe turn this part like into a little teddy bear. You do what you want. But me, I think this is a butterfly, so I think I'm gonna stick sort of with that butterfly theme. And I've just opened up my brushes, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love poiples, so I'm going to grab two poiple brushes. Um, and these aren't anything special. This is, if you haven't gotten these in your kits in the past, these are the sort of things you can pick up from a dollar store, Walmart, whatever. Um, these are relatively inexpensive, so you don't have to worry about not having this sort of thing. And if you don't have this sort of thing and your parents can't get out to buy this for you, you can always open your cabinet and see if you have food coloring. Just get a bunch of glasses and put in a couple of drops of food coloring and a little tiny amount of water and you can make your own watercolors that way. So let's get right into this one. Now I'm just going to sort of freehand like draw where I sort of think this little bug's buggy bits go. Um, so why don't I do that and you all can follow along and I'll go ahead and speed up this video. So if you find that to be a little too fast for you, go ahead and rewind. So let's get right into it. I'm going to put a, I'm going to start, start with brown. So I'm going to put just a little bit of water on my brown watercolor to activate it and there we go. Did you see how it changed color when I put water on it? Maybe I can get another one to do it. So why don't you watch the orange and see if the orange changes color. See, and I don't know if you can pick up on that, but it got a lot lighter in color when I added my water. So that's how I know it's ready to go. And let me go back to my brown. So I got my brown. And like I said, I'll speed this up for you so you don't have to sort of sit here through this, but follow along if you want to. So I've gone ahead and segmented his little body, and now I'm going to segment his little wings. So I'm gonna take some color. And for me, like wings, what color should his wings be? I'm gonna do, let's do, do I know what a monarch looks like? I think, I'm gonna try to do a monarch from memory. So I'm gonna do black, just get some of that black. Then I want this wing to be the top wing, so I'm gonna put a line that way. And then I'm going to do an outline for a little butterfly wingies. Oh, I need more watercolor. There we go. Yep, just like that. Have you noticed I'm just sort of leaving white space because I like that look. That doesn't have to be what you do. You can do whatever you want. Um, I just like how that looks. And then I'm gonna do some geometric patterns. So I'm gonna put like a little triangle in this corner and then match it in the other corner. Then I'm gonna do like this sort of shape. And it isn't any really sh any shape in particular. Just like filling up space. And then we'll do the same thing for the back one. Except this one will go taller. You know what, maybe I'll extend this too. And then I'm going to do two. One here. And we'll 
sort of match that over here. Like so. are sometimes green. I don't know if monarchs are green. What colors are butterflies that you've seen? What color are their little butterfly bodies? I know we've all seen green caterpillars like inchworms. Have you seen an inchworm? They're the ones that, that go like this. And that's how they walk. And those little inchworms and like all manner of caterpillars that you see turn into, after they make their cocoon, all manner of flying insects. But they don't have to just be butterflies, they could also be moths. Moths also start as caterpillars. And what's the difference between a moth and a butterfly? Well, moths are mostly active at night. I think there are a few moths that are active during the day. And moths can be just as pretty as butterflies. Um, I think the biggest difference isn't whether they're they're nocturnal or dernal, which is they're active at day or night. I think the biggest difference is the shape of their bodies. So, like, if you ever see a moth, when moth fold their wings, they fold them flat. Like, and they their body shape ends up being like that. But when butterflies fold their wings, they fold them up and their body shapes like that. So I think that might be the biggest difference. But I don't know. It's something to look up, boys and girls. So I'm gonna do the body of my... Oh look, I can go right over the brown I put before. And that that adds a nice little effect. Let me do that with more water. That creates a nice little effect. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna do his little buggy butt. Get more green. space because I like how that looks so much. There. Okay. I'm really, you know what? Let me fill in this space too. I'm really happy with that. See? Things don't have to go exactly as they're planned and things can still work out great. So, monarchs, their wings are black and yellow with a little bit of orange if I recall correctly. So, I'm going to whole lot of yellow. And we're just going to start filling in all this space. There we go. Fill, fill, fill. Fill this space. Fill, 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 fill. Fill this space. Take my other brush, get it real clean, because it still has brown and black. Get some water so I can get through that top layer. And then I'm gonna try to do just the edges with a little bit of orange. And if I don't get it exactly right, that's okay. Nothing is perfect, except maybe butter. Are butterflies perfect? I think they're perfect the way they are. 
regardless of how they look. And now, my little butterfly just needs a face. So, I'm gonna give him some buggy eye. Some little buggy eyebrow. And a big old well, I was going to give him a smile, but you know what? Butterflies and some moths. I don't know if all moths have a proboscis, which is a little curled snoot that they uncurl and then they can put in flowers to get all that nectar. But that's it. There is my buggy butterfly. Look at him. He's so cute. So I hope you had fun. Um, and I hope I can see you all in the next one. Bye, boys and girls.